Good morning. Got my coffee. My name is Nelson from South Louisiana, and you're watching Trucker Josh and Diesel on TJV. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And as always, thanks for watching. Morning, everybody. We're in Minnesota between Albert Lee and Owatonna at a rest area. We're on I-35. We're on our way south into Iowa. I have a load to pick up there today. Let's get going. Beautiful, beautiful morning today. It's a good day for trucking. Almost every day is a good day for trucking. I'd say. Just the big blizzard days aren't my favorite. Every other day is a good day for trucking. It's a beautiful day for hauling tires. It's about to put on a few more on that side there yet. Three more after that and that's the whole load. It's going to Saskatchewan. You don't say a bunch of farm tires going to Saskatchewan. That's the whole thing right there. So I'm gonna cross the straps over each stack. One this way, one that way. So it's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 straps on this load. Plus I've got my tarps down here yet. I've got a squish in between there somewhere yet. And I got a little two inch strap there that'll hold those down. So it's really easy. It won't take too much time at all. I just need to get some water from in the truck because it's hot down here in Iowa. Yikes, they're far down south for this Canadian. Yikes. And can you imagine? There's like a whole world south of here yet. That's even hotter. No thanks. I think I, I, I'm thankful for the, the nice cool weather we have in Canada in summertime. Wintertime, I like to go further south. But summertime, I stay north. <laughs> so the way I'm doing it, like I said, crisscrossing. Throw one strap over from that side, one strap over from this side. That way it's pulling in both directions. All right, so I'm gonna throw a few more over from that side to this side, and then I'll come to this side, do it in the other direction. These straps got really dirty and dusty in my last delivery in Bemidji. 
I ran through this big rainstorm right before delivery. So the straps were soaked. And then by the time I got to Bemidji, it didn't rain there. So it was all dry. And their yard where we unloaded was all dust. So I had these wet straps in the dust and it just stuck to the straps. And now they're all full of dust and dirt. I'm glad that now, at least on this load, they'll probably get cleaned off a little bit, but yeah, it is what it is. And there we go. Got them all crossed over. Two straps per bundle. I fit my uh, tarps in here. Two inch strap holding them down. Ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna go about 15 to 30 minutes down the road, find the first rest area or stop we can. Tighten the straps. Other than that, we're ready to head on up to Saskatchewan. I'm going to be crossing into uh, Saskatchewan from North Dakota, uh, into North Portal, Saskatchewan from Portal, North Dakota. Same town, two different sides of the border. I guess technically illegally it would be two towns then. One's portal, one's the north portal. They were also pretty clever when they named it. Because not only is the town named portal and north portal, it's also a port of entry. <laughs> Way to go, guys. That's clever. You might say it's a portal into another country. <laughs> Pulling off of the I-80 to go to the Love's truck stop over there, they got some construction going on here and they got these traffic lights, these temporary traffic lights and they, uh, I don't think they're set correctly because we've been here a long time waiting for a green light. It looks like there's only one lane over the bridge so I guess the way they have this timed out, oh now they got a green light, oh at least something's happening right? I'm gonna have to take this really wide though. You can see some people have already dragged their trailers over those cones. They obviously, uh, I'm actually kind of surprised that they didn't think of the trucks turning because of the major truck stop right there. They put the cones right up here so that guys couldn't get their trailers around and you know, eventually they got cleared out of the way. <laughs> Somebody did it. Okay, now they're stopping. Now it should be our green, right? You'd think. Right? Because they got a red light now. Ah, ha, ha, it's us. I gotta take this really wide. Yikes. take forever to get out of here oh look at this lineup all the way there all the way in there oh no all the way around there oh this is oh this was a bad idea oh man well it was a good idea but it turned out really badly that construction zone is messing things up wow wow Shoot, I can't even get to the parking lot. It's all the way backed up into there. Holy smokes. I'm gonna have to go over the scale here and uh... <coughs> Yikes, I just wanted to come in here to get a coffee. Looks like the coffee's gonna be done by the time I get back on the freeway. I'm just gonna 
sneak right through here. I don't need to scale myself, but it's the only way I can get into the parking lot. Look at that, lined up all the way through there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Well. It is what it is, I guess. Had I known that this was happening, I would definitely not... I would definitely not have come in here. Oh, now he's gonna block my spot. I wanted to get in there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, you know what I'm gonna do? go back here and I'll park back here. Oh, I can't. Got myself turned around and uh, backed in because I didn't want to be blocked in here. But this is, uh, this is pretty bad. I might end up being here for longer than I had planned. Oh, well. Wish I would have known. Coming to Love's, let's find out what exit am I in. I have to look at the exit number when I, I always do that. Exit 34, I-80, Iowa. If you're coming to the Love's truck stop here, if you're not planning on staying for a while, just keep on going down the highway, don't even bother. Unless if you're going eastbound. Eastbound is, you don't gotta get across the bridge then, but it still takes forever to get out of the parking lot here. So you're better off if you're going eastbound, but if you're going westbound, you want to stop at exit 34 at Loves, maybe just hold off till they're done that construction. And like you saw in my video there, uh, they got cones across the overpass. So when you're coming up to exit 34, if you're wondering if the construction's done yet or not, look up on the overpass, and if you see any orange pylons or anything up there, just keep on trucking. Unless you got time to burn. I don't know many truckers that do. That's a nice beat. It looks like the lineup has pretty much disappeared. I just stayed here till it died down. <laughs> took my half hour and it turned out, ended up being an hour. So I took my hour here and uh, grabbed a coffee, had some McDonald's, shamefully, but I enjoyed every single bite of it. And I regret nothing right now. So we'll just enjoy the moment and get back in the truck and get out of here before that lineup picks up again. Parked all the way at the back over there. So we all saw how bad that lineup was before. Let's go see how bad it is now. See how long it takes us to get back onto I-80.
we are coming up to the end of the line for today. We're 955 kilometers behind us today, around 600 miles. We're gonna be stopping here in South Dakota. Exit 207. In the morning, we're gonna be taking US 12, so we're gonna be turning here anyways, but there just happens to be a truck stop here at the corner. I have 52 minutes left on my clock today, but I don't think there's any truck stops going that way. I thought the exit was here already. Shoot, I slowed down way too soon. Again, I did that yesterday too. I never know where these exits start. <laughs> song old blue sing your song it's about time to put you to bed that is celebrating a good day of trucking That was a good day of trucking. So tomorrow we're gonna go that way. That's why Karen's trying to get me to go that way now. She doesn't think we need to sleep, but uh, you know, we can't all be robots. Jake breaks off here. There's a lot of truckers that are sleeping already. Don't want to roll into the parking lot and wake them all up. I'll dim my lights because I'm I can't turn my headlights completely off. Because this is a Canadian truck, I by law have to have those running lights that always stay on as long as the brakes are released. So I can dim my headlights, but they they still stay on. I know I can wire those up differently, but I gotta figure that out. And they've updated this a little bit since I was here last. Very nice. Any spots for Trucker Josh? Any spots at all? This used to be gravel back here. Okay, so all of those spots look like they're taken. That is a useless parking spot. <laughs> Big pole right in front. Here we go, look at this, we found one. We found one right here. Beautiful. Yeah, that was close. That was close. We almost had to, uh, we almost had to make a spot. Gonna tuck her on in here for the night and get a good night's sleep here today. Uh, they're receiving where I'm delivering this closes at three o'clock tomorrow. And there's no way, no way I can legally get there even close to that. So I'll be delivering it Friday morning, first thing in the morning. And then I don't know if I have a reload. Maybe I'll, maybe they got something out of Wayburn for me. I'm not too sure. <coughs> we'll find out tomorrow or, or Friday. Uh, I'll get a good night's sleep here. So I'm good and rested for tomorrow. And then we've got a full day of driving, probably about 10, 11 hours of driving to our destination. Well, yeah, this, this is a really good load. The, the air slips around the truck just perfectly. I've been getting great fuel economy. Uh, probably averaging close to seven, seven miles per US gallon on this trip, which is fantastic. This whole month has actually been really good. I've been averaging between six and a half and seven miles per gallon US uh, this whole month, which is great because last month, well, I guess it's because uh, I was hauling a bit of heavier freight then, but 
No, I'm happy with the way the truck's performing. It's uh, it's been a good week. Hopefully we can continue that and uh, turn this good week into a great month. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, you can click one of these links around my face here, the circle with my face in it. That's uh, You can go subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share it with your friends. Uh, we've we, we hit like a girl spurt and then we hit a plateau. Then we hit a girl spurt and then we hit a plateau. And we're at a plateau right now. And I'd really like to see the channel continue to keep growing. So if you do watch these videos regularly, uh, you're part of the TJV family here. If you want to do me a favor, you don't have to. I'd love it if you'd share it with your friends and family, either on your social media or any other way you could think of sharing my videos just see if we can get some growth going on the channel here again get the ball rolling usually once you get the ball rolling and then it sort of snowballs for a little while I'm gonna be looking into different ways uh, to do some advertising offline as well to steer people towards my YouTube channel I don't do much advertising all of this growth that I've had has been organic mostly uh, sometimes I pay for Facebook ads that just sort of get my videos out in front of some more people that didn't ask for it uh, maybe we gotta do some more advertising and stuff. Maybe put some posters up. Maybe some. I'm, I want to sell some more merch. I gotta order some new merch and then uh, uh, wear it in the videos, so you guys can see what it looks like. Uh, I don't know. I'm tired. Uh, I'm gonna get this footage onto the computer. I'm gonna clean this bed up and go to bed. So thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow.